Hey, good morning YouTube. Good morning. Yes, I'm out and about. The sun is really strong. I'm in the shade underneath this beautiful tree here. See how beautiful it is? Yes, absolutely gorgeous. I needed to get some fresh air. Wow. Yeah, today is Monday. July 3rd, 2017. The last time I looked it was about maybe 10.30 a.m. I really needed to get a, some, some breather. I feel like I'm going through something and it feels ugly. I feel a little ugly right now. When I say ugly, I mean my, my attitude. Wow. I already uploaded some videos. I uploaded so far a total of four videos on the black slash Native American identity issue. And it was revealing of myself. I finally got one upload. It took such a long time to upload. I don't know. It seems like the more controversial my videos are, it seems like the harder it is to get my videos to upload. Could be just a coincidence. Well, I feel like I, I, I want to vent. And I think part of the reason of venting, you know, sometimes when you listen to certain things, it, it, it affects you. And I think just living in New York City now and the signs of the time, it's, um, it could stress you out. And I would never feel like I would feel this way about people. And I'm battling, it's like an inner battle of You know, wanting people to like me, want to be accepted, and another part of me is saying I'm fed up in trying to be perfect. And you know, being spiritual does not mean to hold it in. Being spiritual is being honest with yourself and your feelings. And my paradigm is really being tested, and I'm being pulled in different areas and I know that it's a process that that needs to be done because I have to get rid of the, the baggage I have to purge myself from the lies that I have about myself my 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 identity my race my nationality it's really about it's not about hating other people I do believe that you should love, love your neighbor, but you have to love yourself first. If you don't love yourself, then you're just being fake and you're not going to help anyone. Now, as I mentioned, I did several videos regarding Native American and blacks who identify, not that blacks who feel that they're part but that they identify and how some may benefit and I have some um, people who my viewers who are commenting and they just they won't stop and some of them feel like I gotta wait till that goes Some people feel that I'm totally, you know, that I'm out of line and that I don't know my history, and blah, blah, blah. Many of the things they say are accurate, you know, accurate about a lot of things. And, and, and I don't question them about that. 
but they don't they don't seem to be getting the essence of my real issue my issue is not if you're Native American my issue is not oh well uh, in the 1800s or 1700s they forced blacks and Native Americans to be classified as colored and white people must be 100% white and it's to separate that's not my issue my issue is where you live and who are you socially in that community when these people walk around and when the police officers see these people they don't say oh that uh, Native American or oh, let me let me you know he's not they're not saying that they're saying that black person and that's what I'm talking about and how black people in the United States want to, don't want to be who they are. We want to be everything else. And I'm tired of hearing that because when I hear talk like that, like, like I, I'm, I'm something else, and you look at them, I mean, people could be myths, but the essence who they are they're 80 something percent black they're black you know what I'm saying and they go to such an extent to prove that that someone 20 generations ago uh, was half Native American something like that and it makes me feel that they don't like themselves so they gotta invent something or, or just try to dig up something so they can't be enjoying themselves and when they, you dislike yourself in the black community, you, you're worthless to us. And you're worthless to yourself. And I just want you to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Because it's, a, it's about divide and conquering. They're dividing you. They're trying to divide the community. And I want people who live in these black neighborhoods to come together to help themselves and their neighbors and stop trying to be the helper of all other minority groups in this country. They're not helping you. They may tag along with you. Sure, there, there's some groups, you know, during the time of uh, Dr. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr., yes, he had different groups, but it wasn't that many. But they all benefited. All for black people who sacrificed themselves, who died. And then you go around and you, after, after all this fighting for you, and you say, oh, I'm, I'm Native American. I say, you know, you really feel that you're Native American, then go and live on the Indian Reservation. I'm serious as a heart attack. I'm really serious about that. Go and embrace it. There's nothing wrong with Native American. There's nothing wrong. But you'll see, if you have the opportunity to go and live amongst them, you would say, wow, they're worse off than the, than the poorest black man in America. They really have it bad. It's not glamorous. It's not glamorous living. And no, I've never lived on an Indian reservation. And, and I know someone's going to comment about that. But I'm honest. I, I, I hear about what goes on. You know, they have their town and they... they they don't want them to do the alcohol, and they, what they do, they have the whites who set up shop right on the edge of the, 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 the reservation to give them access to the alcohol, and, and they, they take it. Native Americans cannot deal with alcohol. It, it's something about alcohol, it screws up their, their whole system. And I've personally met Native, real Native Americans they tell, told me this story and it's not pretty 
it's not pretty and I feel for those poor people. So just go there. You would you you, you want to leave, black man. And then I'm upset about that, like what I said earlier, that we want to help everybody. You know, Donald Trump may really be your friend. I know that's shocking to many people. But hear me out. See, Donald Trump, what you see is what you get. And you can, you can, you, you he, he doesn't have a trick up his sleeve. He is what he, what you see. And he wants to protect the integrity of the U.S. What, what, what good that is left of it, he wants to keep. Well, it's a lot of planes here. I mean, I meant to say, uh, what do you call it, the helicopters? I'm sorry. That's two of them there. Wow. <laughs> so I was saying, he wants to keep the integrity of, this, of the country. But he did, Donald Trump did say things that was not flattering against the Mexican government. Yes, it was, tack, it was tacky. And then he did say about the people who exit that border into the U.S. He said awful things. It wasn't nice. But outside of that, he, he didn't say anything about black people. I never heard him say anything about black people. And now I, I saw something like in, in Congress, you, had, you have these black people this black man and black woman saying that all oh, to, to impeach Donald Trump all this stuff and they don't realize he's your asset he could protect what little you have whatever we have with what if you have a lot he can help me help you maintain it I say that because there is a lot of stuff going on you have things that are happening stealth and it's our country is being taken away from us so everybody's concerned about the mexican slash hispanic and their rights and while you're looking on the the the, the left hand you got to watch what the what's happening with the right hand you have all these other groups that are benefiting benefiting off of affirmative action and you know who I, I learned who is the largest minority group who benefits from affirmative action the white woman so that the white woman is protected and the black and the white white male is protected so they, they they're set <laughs> so they their household is protected but your your wealth and your substance is hindered because now they're not hiring you black man and woman not to the same extent as other groups you have people from Asia and you know they're quite I, I like Asians but liking somebody and what they could potentially do as a group see they're quiet and they, they know what you like and they market it. And they're buying properties and then they're gonna buy you out. They're doing that in Canada. They had this new law that was passed where they, they bring in, I think it was 100,000 Chinese, I think from Hong Kong but they have to have like, like be millionaires and invest several thousand dollars, a large sum to, to start a business. But they're buying up everything and the uh, regular white Canadian can't afford to live in his own country. They can only rent, they can't buy a house anymore. All this other stuff and the same thing 
I perceive is happening here in the United States, where I live in, I live in New York City. And all the new stores I see, we, you watch them. Watch who starts to build the new stores. And they're usually people from Asia. Again, there's nothing wrong with an Asian to legally start a business. Their businesses are very nice and clean to go into. The East Asian business, I, I love them. They're, they're, they're nice and they treat me nicely too. But treating me nicely doesn't mean that, it, that, that they can't hurt me. So it's, everything's being bought up. And so you're being booted out. That's what I'm trying to get at. You're being booted out and you're too preoccupied about the welfare of other minority groups and they never help you. And still watching those uh, people in, in Congress, they're foolish. Absolutely foolish. I'm scared. I, what you're seeing right now is it's, it's, it's upset and fear for my being able to live safely in this country. My neighborhood more and more is getting more homeless black people. I, I had a man last week, I, I mentioned it in my other video, who asked me to buy him toilet paper. You heard me right. Toilet paper. A grown man. He said his, his welfare uh, check uh, 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 ran out and he has to wait for the next cycle to get his next check. I did buy it for him. It was a black fellow. I have all the other, other black men asking me for five dollars. And it's like I, I, I buy them food. Uh, sometimes I give money. This one particular fella, I, I give money once in a while. But he's been coming more often now when he sees me. No, I mean, I, I try to encourage him. I, I, I even bought him a, a ticket to go to this movie about slavery. I forget which movie to help motivate him to get out of his stupor and get you know get his get his act together and he's worse off now it didn't click it didn't click and i'm angry at him i'm, I'm a little i'm, I'm not angry I'm, I'm disappointed so this is what you this is this is what my why i'm acting this way because i see my country disintegrating before my eyes and we're too busy looking for everybody else and we want to be everybody's friend we want everybody to love us and we have no community and i'm scared because i because i know in just a couple of years it's all gonna be bought up your interest people don't care about black people being being discriminated against no because now it's the year of the homosexual or what's with the lgbtq rstuvw it's it's all that forget about it black man and black woman you you're you're a dinosaur of of story we need a community we need we need to know how to how how to do farming we don't need to know how to do hair weave and nails you need to know how to farm how to plant food do something I'm planting in my apartment. I, I, I don't have a house. I, I, I'm planting stuff. I got my fir first uh, hot peppers. You got, you got to, you got to make it happen. You got to start to teach your kids something. And watching these videos, these rap videos, and well, somebody's behind. That's not going to get you out of poverty. Knowledge does and stop giving your money to the church unless that church is helping you to be prosperous. It's a trick of the devil, the church, when you hand them, hand them your hard-ass earned money. Excuse my language, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just very frightened. I, I just see, I see it crumbling. I see, I see it crumbling before my very eyes. You marry all these people. Marry you. You marry everybody outside of your group because you don't like yourself. And all these different groups 
take your money and give it to their families in their communities. I hear the things that they say. I hear it. That's why I'm reacting. I said, oh my God, I've been quiet for, for how many years? Most of my life. I see it. And you sucker for it. You say, oh, well, you know, I like what her body looks like. And it's like you're, you're a boy toy. Come on. You got to wake up. You got to wake up. Our country is going down the tube and we're going down fast. So I say this in love. I, I really do. I really do. I say this all in love. Get your life in order or they're going to wipe you out. So feel free to comment below. Share this video with friends, family members. You can subscribe to my channel, Spirit Journey. I also have Facebook by the same name, but it's a space between Spirit and Journey. And you can give me the thumbs up. Peace and love to you guys. Bye-bye.